Alright, hello everybody, welcome back to Universe Sandbox 2 and here we have our beautiful planet Earth, perfectly simulated in a realistic simulator and today we have an experiment to conduct. I'm pretty sure I heard somewhere that uh, there was a possibility that some of these like high-tech hydrogen collider uh, systems that we have in Europe and uh, the United States uh, could possibly create tiny black holes on Earth, like super tiny black holes inside the, the Hydrogen Collider or whatever it's called in CERN. And my question is, how many of those tiny black holes are necessary to destroy the Earth? All right, so we're gonna start by adding some of these black holes. I think I'm gonna make them orbit Earth um, initially, just to see what happens. And I'm pretty sure the smallest one would be this one right here, which is not very big. It's a tiny, tiny black hole. It's a small black hole. Let's place it right here. Pause the simulation, place it right there. Can we actually see it? It's not big at all. It's not even, holy crap, how big is it? Hold on, let's take a look at the radius here. So this black hole is almost three kilometers in radius, uh, which is pretty big in human terms, but in the grand scale of uh, the universe, it's just a, it's just a tiny black hole, man. Uh, so we're gonna change the radius here, possibly. I think we need to make this, let's make it the size of a dime. Can we do that? I'm pretty sure a dime is like 18 kilometers. No, 18, 18 centimeters, 18 right there, bam. Oh boy. Is it there still? I think it's, oh, there it is. Yeah, it just, it just disappeared. I don't think you can actually create a black hole that small. Oh, of course, dude. So that, that's actually realistic because I remember people saying that even though black holes could be created in these uh, like laboratories, they would dissipate so fast that they would not pose a threat to humanity. So this right here is actually realistic. What about 10 meters? Is that big enough to actually create something that could possibly destroy Earth? A black hole is actually mass, you know? It can actually exist and orbit other things if it's not big enough. So this one, this one just self-destructed as well, right there. You can see that it's just 0, 0.000. That means that, that means it wasn't stable right there. It's right over Malaysia and uh, I don't know what country that is. Indonesia, I think. We are at a one-to-one -one ratio here, so this is real time. Seconds per second. Oh! <laughs> Jesus Christ! It's actually too big! <laughs> Look at that! It's so big! So one kilometer is just too much, dude. How is that even possible, dude? It's so unbelievable that this is actually something that would happen it's not even on the surface of earth and it destroyed it for sure it completely destroyed earth it's right on the surface of the earth right how big is it it's too big i think 2.95 kilometers let's change that to millimeters here 20 right there it's almost impossible to see there it's tiny of course it's like it's so tiny all right so there we have it it is a black hole the size of 20 millimeters. For some reason, it just goes down to zero, but maybe it'll work. Who knows? We are on a second to second ratio here. So let's take a look at this, what happens. It seems like it's orbiting the Earth, actually. So it is not dissipating. It is not dissipating, but uh, it's not doing any damage either, it seems like. There it is. You can still see it right there just traveling over the Atlantic. We have a tiny black hole traveling over the Atlantic. No one panic, all right? <laughs> no one freaking panic. It's okay. It's okay. So we're gonna add another one here. So let's get closer here. You can actually see how close we are to the surface. Uh, we're pretty close. Like this is low orbit, I think. Let's add another one right here. So they completed one spin right there and nothing actually seems to be happening. I don't see much happening here. They are getting a little bit close together. So maybe something will happen if they crash. There you go. So these are all dime sized black holes that are orbiting the earth. All right, so I added another black hole here and it seems to be consuming the other tiny black holes. It's so insane. Holy crap, that seems, what's that? Oh boy, 
Holy crap! It actually destroyed the earth. Hold on, let's look at this again. Hold on, let's do that again. So what I have to do is instead of just changing the radius, I'm gonna have the radius just auto-calculate here and I'm gonna change the mass. So I'm gonna change it right here and you can see that the radius is actually decreasing. It's almost invisible at this point. It's right there, so... All right, let's get some let's get some distance here. It's right over India and uh, South Asia, and we are on a one-to-one -one scale in terms of time. Let's see what happens here. All right, there you go. It's not it's not really affecting much there on its own. It seems like dime-sized black holes really are really not a threat to humanity. You know. It seems like you would need a ton of these. I wish I could just copy paste in this game. Let's add one above Africa here. There you go. Add another one over here, maybe. I don't want them to orbit each other though. All right, so we have three dime-sized black holes orbiting again. Last time what happened was they crashed against each other and so it just destroyed the world, basically. So let's see what happens here. That is a dime-sized black hole right there. It's just a matter of time. Right there, that's hours per second. So it's not that it takes a lot of dime-sized black holes, it's that it just takes longer to happen. Because before, we had three different black holes and we were on a second-to-second -second, um, ratio and it just took a while. Like 60 seconds or so. It takes like a minute for it to destroy the Earth. But once it happens, it just goes out instantly. We have, I'm gonna prove to you that this is actually dime sized. So let's reduce this to, uh, we have 10 seconds to 10 seconds ratio, 10 seconds to one second ratio. There you go. So I'm gonna add this right here. Let's check the stats. So radius, so that's about, it's a bit larger than a dime, just a tiny bit larger. So when you actually think about it, I didn't realize this before, but it's actually moving real fast here. Now, my theory is that it's not the number of black holes, it's just that it takes time. Look at that. It just takes time. <laughs> That's it. So let's add it a little bit further away. So the distance to the Earth is gonna be, in terms of moons, it's gonna be one moon. Oh lunar distance right there there you go so that's one lunar distance i can't even see the black hole hold on i'm gonna have to look for it real quick oh there it is so this is a simulation of one single dime-sized black hole orbiting the earth at the same with the same distance as the moon right that's what we have right here look how far we are now let's see what happens. We are on a one hour to second ratio here. Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> In less than an hour, at that distance, the black hole, one centimeter in radius, is going to completely destroy the Earth. It's going to suck out the atmosphere. <laughs> Oh, Jesus Christ, dude. Alright, so boys, I've been doing some testing off-camera with the, with, the, with the black hole, with the super tiny black hole, and it seems like depending on how far away from the Earth it is, different things can happen so for instance right here for what i can see it seems like the black hole it's acting more of a more as an object rather than a suction vacuum or of some sort right it's actually crashing against the earth uh so let's take a look at this hold on let me, let me show you guys how this is actually working so it's orbiting the earth and look at this at this point it's actually acting as if it was just another planet next to it and it didn't actually crash against the, the, the Earth, but it's sucking, it's literally sucking mass out of it. Look at that. And I'm going to reduce the speed here a little bit so we can actually appreciate this. So this is a one-to-one -one scale of what's happening. So that's, that's the explosion right there. One minute to one second 
scale here. It's still orbiting the Earth. Let's take a look at the the temperature. The temperature it's already at 2,000 degrees. <laughs> I mean, it's it's insane. It's insane. It's not. It doesn't seem like it's consuming the Earth, but it's definitely it's insane. Look at that. Yeah, it's gonna. S yep, they're gonna merge. It seems like. Yep. Yep. Absolute destruction. <laughs> Holy crap! <laughs> oh, that's amazing. What I would like to test here is an even smaller black hole. Let's keep it at a safe distance here. There you go. Tiny black hole. Almost impossible to actually see. Right now it has the mass of one Earth. Compressed into the radius of 9 millimeters. Alright, we are on a 3 second to 1 second uh, speed here. The temperature of the Earth is increasing rapidly. 1000 degrees, everyone's dead. <laughs> Everyone's dead already in a couple of seconds <laughs> In just a couple of seconds. It doesn't seem like anything is happening. It looks it just looks so peaceful from up here, but the earth is quite literally Burning up right here Almost 2,000 degrees now the simulation has dropped down to Milliseconds to one second ratio because I guess the simulation is just too too difficult to carry out by my computer <laughs> my god it doesn't seem like my computer can't actually run this oh boy yeah it's instant it's absolutely instant instant destruction there it is yeah it's just look at that it's literally just sucking the life out of earth it's absolute destruction one single nine millimeter black hole it's enough. It, it's enough <laughs> to destroy the Earth. Oh my God! <laughs> oh, dude, that's that's dumb. <laughs> oh Jesus Christ! Where are the other black holes? Come on, where are you guys at? Right there. The simulation it just can't go any further. It just doesn't seem like it can actually simulate all of these. There you go, that's better. I'm gonna have to remove one, actually. Oh, this one's going in for the kill. This one right here is gonna definitely hit it. Yep. I see it. Oh boy. This is gonna be nasty. Yep. <laughs> Alright, well. There you have it. Only one. <laughs> That's all it takes. One single dime-sized black hole is enough to destroy the Earth. Thank you guys so very much for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.